everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House and today we're making another Miraculous Ladybug doll custom. So if you've been to my channel recently, you'll know that I've been making a lot of doll customs using these marionette dolls. They are so much fun to make and I really enjoy making them. I've made quite a lot of hero dolls, so if you haven't checked them out yet, make sure to check them out after this video. Recently, my latest dolls have been the villains. So over here I have Anti-Bug and we also have Lady Wi-Fi. And today I want to make one more villain before we go back to the heroes. And so I have Rena Rouge here, or Marinette as Rena Rouge, and we are going to turn her into Hawk Moth. What do you think? This is going to be a challenge because Hawk Moth doesn't wear a mask, instead he has a helmet. So I'm going to attempt to make a helmet here for Marinette, and um, hopefully it'll turn out well. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to go ahead and start by making the mask or make the helmet for Hawk Moth. And I'm going to be using Sugru, which is a moldable glue. Usually for my customs, I use clay, but clay does crack and will break if you flex it. And I want this helmet to be removable. Sugru is more of a rubber, and so there is a little bit of flexibility to it. And so I'm going to be using Sugru, and we're essentially going to have this mask here to reveal her eyes and then create and put the sugru all the way around her head. And I also want her pigtails to come out because I still want to see that it's marinette underneath. So since sugru sticks to plastic, what I'm going to do is wrap her head first in some saran wrap. So if the sugru sticks to it, it's okay. We can just uh, leave it on there. So I'm going to wrap this around her hair to protect her face, making sure that the sugru does not get permanently stuck to it. And I'm going to try to wrap it tight around her face. And there's her eyes. Okay. So we've got all her hair covered, and I'm thinking the helmet will probably come all the way down to where her hair tie is. And we're going to put her mask on like this, and then we're going to just stick the sugru all the way around. So I am going to use some fast grab tacky glue, and we're going to put it on the back side of the mask. Like marinette here, and we're going to mash this mask on her, and we're going to give it a few minutes to dry. So while the glue is drying, let's go ahead and get our sugru. And as you can see here, you actually don't get a lot. So I'm thinking we might need two or three pieces of sugru. But let's go ahead and roll it out and just see. Okay, so let's see how much we can cover with just one piece. As you can see, not the entire head. So we're going to need two pieces. Get our second piece out. Hopefully we won't need three because sugru is a little bit on the pricey side. And I don't want to use a whole bunch of them just for one doll. Okay, so this is pretty thin. Let's go ahead and wrap this around her head. And we're going to use her mask as a guide. I'm going to cut it right here. And we also need to build this front portion. Let's trim the mouth area. Okay, good, I didn't miss. All right, so the helmet is done. And oh my goodness, she looks a little funny. And um, Hawk Moth has a more narrow head, so that's why his helmet is more elliptical. But since Ladybug here has her hair still, she her helmet is turning out a bit more round. So it looks, I think it looks okay. It looks a little scary, but I think that's all right since she is a villain or Hawk Moth is a villain and um, it's supposed to look scary. And so I am actually kind of leaving this section open here so that it's easier to put the helmet on and also um, allows for some room to stretch to put it over her head. So now I'm going to wait 24 hours for the Sugru to cure. Next, we're going to cut out Hawk Moth's lapel. His jacket has a triangular shaped lapel that comes up and over his shoulders, so it's pretty long. And I wanted to use clay for this, so I'm going to be using Leather Effect Clay. 
This one is an overbaked clay, but it's flexible. So the piece I'm going to be using is this black one, and it came in this kit. It was on sale for like a few dollars, so I figured might as well. So we're going to be using the black one, and we are going to cut out this triangular shape piece of um, kind of a V and put it on her chest. Once the clay has been cured, as you can see, it's still a little bit flexible. You don't want to bend it too much or it will still break, but for the most part, you can kind of flex it a little bit. And um, I think this is better than regular clay. So what we're going to do is essentially glue that onto Ladybug right around here. But before we do that, we are going to paint the entire body a dark purple color. And we're going to be using an oil-based paint pen to do this. Alright everyone, so it's been a day and the Sugru has cured. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like. So I'm going to unwrap her hair first since I think part of the Sugru is going to be stuck on the plastic wrap here. And then just take it off. Oh my goodness, look at this. And oh, you know what? Actually, it peels off. So I can peel the plastic wrap off, which is better because it'll be a lot cleaner this way. Oh, there it is. All right, everyone. So here is what the helmet looks like, made from Sugru, and as you can see here it's still flexible so that makes it a lot easier to take on and off okay, so I'm gonna be able to put over her face again just need to move her hair to the side okay so now the next thing we want to do is paint it you're going to paint his helmet gray here we're going to draw the little moth symbol Okay, now let's finish her outfit. So we have her lapel here. As you can see, after it's cured, it is still a little bit flexible. And we're gonna stick it on with some super glue. With black ink, we're gonna draw in the suit. And in here, let's attempt to put a miraculous brooch right here. All right, everyone, so Lady Wi-Fi and Anti-Bug are here. They are ready to meet Hawk Moth. Are you ready? So here she is. Look at this. Oh my goodness. 
I think this turned out really, really nice. I wasn't sure if Marinette would look good as Hawk Moth, but I think she looks really good in this suit. So let's go ahead and put on this helmet here. And there we go. Oh my goodness, look at this. Super, super cool. So here's an up close look at the head. So you can see her eyes back there and also her mouth. You can see the outline of the moth here on the mask. Here in the back, we have it cut short so that we can have her pigtails out. So this way you still know that it is Marinette. Over here is the suit with the long lapel. We can see the miraculous right there. And the suit is purple with a drawn in front, we have black gloves and black shoes. And there she is standing between Lady Wi-Fi and Antibug. All right, everyone, so what do you think? Do you like my version of Hawk Moth? If you do, give this video a big thumbs up. And now we're gonna go back to making more heroes. So if you like videos like this, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.